Thanks for tuning in for today's Drawing for Kids class brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we are going to be drawing silly pizza drawings and I'm really excited as we use repetition to make a fun creative drawing. So grab a pencil and a piece of paper. You can color this later with colored pencils if you'd like. And we're going to go ahead and just draw a circle with another circle inside and that is going to help us make our pizza shape. So we want a circular, though you could do a square pizza if you'd like, um, and then another shape of a circle inside that so that you have a concentric circle that's called a circle within a circle to help form that pizza crust. Since these are going to be silly pizzas, you can see I've got some silly toppings over there that I've listed out. After you have drawn your concentric circles for that pizza crust, you can go ahead and draw the slices. So I recommend either just using a steady hand or using a ruler to create slices. So first you can do going half and then half the other way, so half horizontally, half vertically, and then you can do an X kind of in between that. So I want you to think of one normal topping, one piece of fruit, one piece of candy, one vegetable, one cookie slash chip, and a critter, and I'm also going to later add on a sauce. I think that's all. Um, but I want you to think about what else you can add that could be fun. So you can use my ideas here um, as inspiration, but you can always add your own. And then the idea is to repeat that. Um, item. So for example, I have repeated little peppermint candies throughout my whole pizza. So I also added in some cherries, I've added in broccoli, um, little sausage bits, like that's my normal topping I guess. Um, I'm also adding in chocolate chip cookies that you can see here. And I am also going to add in a cute little critter of a ladybug. So you can see I'm now drawing in my little ladybugs. You can notice I also have a lot of red items that are being repeated. So a ladybug, red with the peppermint swirls, and cherries. And now I'm doing a drizzle of hot fudge um, sauce on top here. So, um, so I think I've now said all of them yet, but I'm going to just label them there just in case. And now it's time to start coloring. So like I said before, colored pencils would be a great choice for this, but you could also use crayons or markers or really anything. If you use crayons or colored pencils, I would encourage you to practice shading and layering different colors. So you can see how I'm doing that here with the crust, where I'm pressing down hard with that yellow in the center, fading it out with the, to the sides, and then coming back on those sides with some orange and some brown to get a nice um, kind of... Uh, crispy looking crust okay and then when you start coloring you're also going to want to probably start coloring whatever things if you've got overlapping items which you probably do um, then whatever's on top is going to be what you want to start coloring right um, and so unless it's something that's kind of transparent but if you've got like ketchup or something like that that's not really that see-through so I would go ahead with that all right, and then just kind of carefully start filling in and shading as you can. If you would like to shade, you don't have to, but just have fun coloring. Um, and like I said, this is all about just being silly, having fun, and learning a little bit about repetition. And so I hope that you have enjoyed today's drawing and that you create a really silly pizza drawing today.